power. There is just nothing in mixed martial arts quite like a Conor McGregor fight. And I would even take it a step further in terms of professional sports. Nothing like a Conor McGregor fight. No, Conor McGregor has exceeded the sport of mixed martial arts. He is a worldwide phenomenon. This guy draws people's attention. And it's because of his ability to not only talk, but his ability to speak things into existence. If Conor McGregor wasn't knocking people out and becoming the champion, all the words that he spoke would not matter. Right. This guy is a tremendous striker. He's a huge personality. And he is a guy that believes every time he walks in there, J.A., that he is going to get his hand raised. No, you put that well. And so much is made of his persona, his ability as an orator. That says nothing of how talented an athlete and a striker Conor McGregor is. And sometimes his star yeah. power is such that we lose sight of And he hit the wall. Him. Look at him hitting the wall. I mean, come on. The notorious Conor McGregor. He has graced the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. getting back on the proven ground here tonight, putting his undisputed UFC lightweight championship on the line. So much to love about this man's mixed martial arts acumen, his fight IQ, and you gotta think it's gonna take the very best out of his opponent to rest the belt away. Anyone, anyone that hopes to beat Mahachev has to be on their game. Your wrestling's gotta be on point, your striking's gotta be on point. But more than anything, you have to have a steel mind. You cannot break in front of Mahachev because he will then drown you. This guy is a champion for a reason. And as you have seen time and time again, Hasbula ha, joins the Dagestanis in the octagon. Perhaps that's an X factor tonight. The great Hasbula in the corner of Islam Akasha. Islam Akasha set to fight the notorious Conor McGregor. the tape for this welterweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the notorious Connor McGregor! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC! Welterweight champion of the world, Islam Makachev. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon tonight. All right, round getting underway, and we take a look at the Combat Sambo World Champion. Oh! He's got to start throwing now. All right, so there it is. Just to your expectation, Daniel, you felt like the wrestler was going to be able to get his takedown game going, and the kickboxer is floored immediately. Here the well, they say wrestlers have the ability to dictate where the fight takes place, especially against a kickboxer. And with that takedown, he proved that point very sturdy. Big combination here. Ground and pound strikes. Nice work by Islam Akasha. Look at him chop the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Defensive savant, he blocked that punch. Oh, nice. Well, in terms of Conor McGregor, 
his frame at lightweight or at featherweight. He really uses his length well. He has an outstanding reach. More often than not, he's going to have a reach advantage over the opposition, and he is taking advantage here tonight. We cross the midpoint in round one. Nice. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't taken for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. Makashev's in half court. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. on Thursday. He needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from the style of fighting. This man has a ref will help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. Makashev's back in full mount. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Thirty seconds now to go on the round. Twenty seconds left. Well, he's avoided a lot of the damage here on the ground. Nicely done with the head movement there. Not staying still underneath his opponent is allowing him to not get hit with anything too damaging. Uh, round two is next. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, let's get to round two. Throws that team. Oh, good block there. Oh, big punch land. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a, a great double leg. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Makashev's back in half court. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Striking pretty well from the bottom here. Oh, he's back up again. You got to like that. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. We march on three minutes to go. how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. Ready to land. Great job. That was on. Oh, triple the uppercut. Masha goes in for the takedown now, and he gets it. Nice fight IQ there after he had gotten stunned on the feet. Oh, reverses the position there. Nice transition by Connor. Getting the ball here. So 
He's got the ground and pound game oh, going God. here. All oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, three seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, the notorious Conor McGregor!